filling in the gap between episodes 3, Revenge of the Sith, and 4, A New Hope. We are here discussing the Rebels Magazine comic strip, Sabotaged Supplies. Sabotage Supplies by Martin Fisher and Ingo Romlin is featured in the May 2016 issue of the U.S. publication of the Rebels Magazine. This story takes place at some point during the first season of Star Wars Rebels, likely after Episode 10, Path of the Jedi, and before Episode 12, Vision of Hope. On Lothal, the crew of the Ghost is handing out provisions to the residents of Tarkintown, as they have done many times before. Zeb, who seems drawn towards a young woman named Mendez, has saved the freshest Jogan fruit for her. However, shortly after taking a bite, she falls over, poisoned, along with many others who have just eaten the fruit. They find that the fruit has been poisoned. There is a synthetic drug that can cure them, but it is located in the capital city. Kanan tells Zeb that an operation is being planned and that he should not go out alone to try and solve this issue. The problem is that Zeb takes this attack personally and, of course, decides to go at it alone. Taking the Phantom, he heads to Capital City and sneaks onto the Empire's base. He did a bit less sneaking and a bit more Stormtrooper bashing by the time he made it inside. However, waiting for him was Agent Callus, excited for a reunion between him and the Lasat. Just as Callus has Zeb on the ground about to strike the final blow, the crew of the Ghost arrives, arms drawn, antidote in hand. They engage in a firefight while Chopper uses the Ghost to take out Imperial Walker. They manage to make their escape together as a team. To their relief, the antidote worked at reviving all the poison citizens. Kanan and Hera scolded Zeb for acting on his own, but it seems, through the story, that Zeb learned that they are stronger together as a team. We don't often get stories about Zeb, especially seeing his softer side, but we have always had a sense that he has a big heart. It is great to have an opportunity to see Zeb grow a bit in this comic strip. This also gives us another story tying the ghost's crew to Tarkintown, making the destruction of that town even more meaningful to the crew. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Leave your comments and questions about this story or any element of the Star Wars canon below. Till next time, may the Force be with you.